Elon is once again on the full self-driving hype train over on Twitter. He's been telling us about this fundamental rewrite for a long time, and this is the first time he's just kind of single-handedly tweeting out things instead of just alluding to it in a podcast. He's basically referring to this neural net training computer, which will be able to analyze tons and tons of video data all collected from Tesla vehicles on the road today using autopilot, analyze that footage to make the software perform better, and that this rewrite is going to take place within the next six to 10 weeks, which should result in some type of quantum leap when it comes to autopilot and full self-driving performance. And I'm still in that boat of I'll believe it when I see it because it really does feel like every single year we get some other massive milestone that full self-driving is about to reach and then it doesn't really formulate into anything that major and we hear about the next big update. You know, originally at Tesla Autonomy Day, they talked a lot about how they expected it to be feature complete by the end of 2019 and hopefully legal legally ready by the end of 2020. And to be completely clear, Elon hasn't been too upfront about deadlines. He's always said like, hopefully, or this is what I'm hoping to achieve. And most of the time they don't straight up come forward and say it will be done by this time. Typically it's when someone is asking them, they're like, okay, this all sounds great. When is it gonna be ready? And Elon says, um, you know, maybe around here, maybe around here. But it does definitely help knowing that there's supposed to be this quantum leap, this fundamental rewrite, because I think a lot of people are looking at autopilot and and automatic lane changing and smart summon and auto park and they're looking at how Teslas are performing today and saying no way there's going to be robo taxis ready anytime soon or there's no way that true full self driving is just around the corner if this is how it's performing now from both a marketing standpoint and just a giving us the honest truth standpoint it does help us to know that well the autopilot and lane changing and smart summon we're used to today are all using this 2.5d interpretation of real world data around us in that this doja computer that's going to be analyzing all this footage and applying it to future autopilot updates that should change the fundamental way the computer interprets the world around it into more of a 4D situation, which fourth dimension obviously is time. So I'm wondering if this means that this fundamental redesign they're bringing to the full self-driving computer suite is going to make the computer try to predict and more anticipate motions instead of just acting on the motions that it is in right now, which certainly feels like what we're experiencing with current navigation on autopilot. Now, I don't own a Tesla myself right now, but I have been in recently a Model 3 that had full self-driving equipped, and it certainly feels like, especially with highway driving these days, the computer is acting based upon what's going on right now, whereas this fundamental rewrite hopefully can allow it to anticipate, hey, that guy behind me is speeding up or the traffic ahead of me is slowing down so I don't need to accelerate as drastically and overall just iron out the kinks and figure out the smoothest possible way to get the passengers where they need to be in a safely manner and not be too jittery not yank on the steering wheel too much and make everyone feel uncomfortable but Elon is saying he is using the alpha version of this autopilot code with the bleeding edge version of all the software updates and he's claiming that there is little to no intervention he has to do on his drive to work which of course my curiosity is how far does Elon live from work and second of all why can't we just see this stuff I feel like it would put so much discomfort to rest and so many people doubting the full self-driving purchase if Tesla would just start filming these internal tests I know we got the one several years ago showcasing you know this is what full self-driving is going to do but I think it's a pre-planned route and it's very basic just like drive to a stoplight turn go on the freeway it's not overly complicated and I would love it if Tesla could give us some weekly or monthly updates of here's what we're testing internally even if you want to edit out the mistakes even if you want to just show the great stuff it would certainly help a lot of people realize okay this is what is possible internally there's obviously going to be a whole bunch of regulations and legal barriers before tesla is able to roll this out for everyone you know when eventually we get to that point where tesla says you know what take your hands off the wheel you don't have to look at the road just kind of sit there and enjoy the ride that's going to be years away just from a legal standpoint but if tesla can show us internally what's possible showing us how the vehicle handles turns, how it can handle roundabouts, which Elon said they're working pretty hard on, and they're hoping that the neural net using this computer learning machine Doja will be capable of analyzing lots of turning sessions, and of course smart summon and lane changes and all of the things our cars go through, and basically take the best case scenario of all of them and apply that to the fleet. This is a huge advantage of trying to achieve autonomy through Tesla, is they have more data than anyone else when it comes to miles driven autonomously, and I know there's other vehicles 
vehicles out there that have hands-free driving, but it's important to know that autopilot and full self-driving doesn't functionally need your hand to be there. It's just asking your hands to stay on the wheel for the sake of liability and making sure that you can take over when you need to. It's more of a way to prevent people from misusing the software than it is a crucial, like, it needs your hands to be there in order for it to work. They just don't want people getting comfortable with the idea that you can turn on autopilot and just take your hands off the wheel and do whatever you want. In time, though, I'm sure they eventually want to get there and personally if you had to ask me I'm getting kind of sick of hearing about how it's just around the corner just around the corner I think that they should rebrand it as enhanced autopilot again that's what it used to be called and just say hey if you buy enhanced autopilot once full self-driving is available you will get it but selling the package right now calling it full self-driving when it truly isn't and I honestly think that we're still years away from actually getting to that point it just feels kind of scammy it feels kind of icky to be charging eight grand for what's basically a lot of party tricks and a lot of beta features right now that they're testing and they want to get real world data off of it so I'm not saying they shouldn't have these features and if it's legal and safe to roll out these autonomy features to the entire fleet of vehicles sure sell those let people buy those as software packages but just don't call it full self-driving yet just say that that will come if you buy enhanced autopilot but that's really all it is right now it's enhanced version of a driver assist feature and I wouldn't say we're that close to saying it's full self-driving where the car can do everything by itself and it doesn't need any help. It also makes me wonder how close we are to FSD if Elon is in this tweet alluding to the fact that if you're interested in these type of engineering and software problems, please try to work for Tesla. Please try to apply for a job here. So it's like you need help. You know, you want more people working for you, which I guess is good. Nothing wrong with that. But if it was right around the corner and it was close to being ready and feature complete, would you really be asking for more people to join the team? I don't know. Just a lot of speculation on my part and I wanted to inform you guys that potentially we could see some massive changes fundamental quantum leaps to autopilot within the next couple months and I hope the timeline is strict on that knowing it's Elon maybe it'll be two or three months from now but what do you guys think of this autopilot fundamental rewrite and these quantum leaps and AI and machine learning making the vehicles better feel free to hit me up over on Twitter join my discord let's chat more about it there and despite all my criticisms of FSD and how Tesla has marketed it and pitched it in the past I hope you guys realize I still love the company Company. I still love the ambition. I love the goals they set for themselves. And I truly believe that if there is going to be a company that can develop true autonomous driving, Tesla is going to be there years before the next guy. They're closer than anyone right now. And we still got a ways to go. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.